Hello again, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Excel training video. I believe this is video number five now. In the last video, I gave a link, I posted it somewhere on the screen, that took you to a video on how to create a invoice using Microsoft Excel. If you didn't follow that link, I strongly suggest that you do. I'll put another link up somewhere to the left here. If you didn't do the video, then please do it. If you have done it, then please keep doing it until you're comfortable with all the features of Excel that are being used to create that invoice. It's all for your benefit. It's using what we've learned so far. It's putting it into practice and showing you what you can actually do with Excel and what we are learning. In this video, we're going to look at the page layout and how we can change the page layout and also how we can open save and print documents that we create on Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we want to change the page orientation. At the top here, this is called our ribbon. So at the top, we want to go to page layout. Depending on what edition of Excel you have, it may be called slightly different or it may be placed somewhere else, but generally it's page layout and you'll come to this box here. Now your orientation is this icon here and as the icon suggests it's choosing whether you want your document to be printed on paper that is placed vertically like it normally is if you think of a letterhead or most documents that are printed on A4 paper they are vertical that the paper is a vertical and the the print is horizontally across that vertical sheet of paper. You can also change the orientation of that paper so the paper is lengthways, so the paper is horizontal, as the icon suggests. So portrait is when the paper is vertical and landscape is when the paper is horizontal. If we click on landscape, it's already set on portrait you'll see that these lines appear on Excel. This is your print margin. So anything that is entered in these boxes here up to these grid lines will be on page one. Anything that's in this next box within the grid lines will be page two, page three, and so forth. If we change the orientation back to portrait, you'll notice the grid lines change as the print margins will also change as the paper is going from being horizontal to a vertical. So portrait, you see that they change. And now we have a longer box that is not as wide. So this is page one. Anything entered in the next grid lines is page two and so forth. While we are under page layout, you can choose under grid lines to view the grid lines or not. You'll see that they have now gone and we can bring them back up. The only reason I can think of why you would want to do that is if you're viewing a table or chart that's easier to view without grid lines or you want to see what your information that you've entered into Excel looks like when it's going to print because when you print of Excel the grid lines won't appear. Let's bring the grid lines back. To save a document with Excel go to file at the top left corner and click save as. You'll get this box appear. You can choose the destination where you want the file to be saved and the file name. To open a previously saved file, you can do that by going to the destination of where the file was saved or by clicking open. 
and then find in the file. To print your Excel document, go to File again and go to Print. Now, depending on on which Excel edition you have, you'll have a Print Preview here. Alternatively, you may have a Print Preview button in the left column somewhere near Print, and that will give you a preview of what your document is going to look like. My Print Preview is currently empty because I have no data on Excel. If I enter some figures and letters, then go to Print Preview or Print, you'll see that now appears. Simply click Print, and the document will be printed. Please click the link for the next video.